Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I think the uh, suspension makes sense. Um, you know, to me, this is um, about more than basketball. It's, um, uh, it's about helping Draymond. I think it's an opportunity for Draymond uh, to step away and um, to make a change um, in, in his approach, in his life. Um, and that's not an easy thing to do. That's not something you say, okay, we're going to do five games and then he's going to be fine, right? Um, the league did that did five games after the incident with uh, Rudy. Um, that's not the answer to, to pick a number. The answer is to, to help Draymond, and give him the help he needs, give him an opportunity to make a change that will not only help him, help our team, um, but help him for the rest of his life. This is not just about, you know, an outburst on the court. Um, this is about his life. This is about um, someone who I believe in, someone who I have known for a decade, who I love for his loyalty, uh, his uh, commitment, his passion, uh, his love for his, his teammates, his friends, his family. We're trying to help that guy um, because the one who, um, you know, grabbed Rudy and choked Rudy, the one who took a, a wild flail at, at – uh, Yusuf, uh, the one who punched Jordan last year, um, that's, that's the guy who has to change. And he knows that. Um, everything before that, over a decade of play, wh what are we really talking about, right? We're talking about, you know, getting ejected for yelling at the ref or throwing a ball. But you look at the past year and what's happened, it's clear he, he needs the opportunity to change, and that's what an indefinite suspension gives him the opportunity for. What, what do you see your role in it as in all of that? You've known him for so long. It's clear he's going to need to clear a couple of uh, requirements in order for him to return to playing. You've had the opportunity with him before, but what makes you different this time? Um, you know, th there's uh, a lot of this that um, is has to happen um, with um, people who are experts in this uh, this field, and I'm not qualified for that. So my role in this is to support uh, Draymond as best as I can, and our organization will will uh, also support him, and we'll do everything possible um, for him. Um, and we want to give him the space and the time and the the assistance he needs to make a significant change and. And I think, again, the, the whole key for me is what this can do for his life long term. You know, we, I want him to be happy. I want him to um, reap the rewards of an incredible career and legacy. Um, and I want him to finish that career in a really f wonderful, dignified manner. This guy's, a, this guy's one of the great winners of all time. He's one of the great competitors of all time. But he's crossed the line. He knows that. He knows he needs help, and he's going to get the help, and we're going we're gonna to help him with it. Um, but we're also not qualified to offer um, some of the things that he needs, and so we're going to try to do, do our best to provide him with that and, and support him the whole way through. Have you talked to him at all? Yeah. Any of I've talked to him, but I'm not going to share with, with okay. anyone. Yeah, yeah, you'll you can watch the game tonight and find out. He's he's allowed to be at practice. Mm -hmm. I know Mike said today that you guys yeah. come around. Do you know what, what is the plan with that? Like how yeah, we'll see. I mean, I, my gut is, um, you know, he, he, I mean, he, I know he'll be in the bay and he'll be coming in uh, to the facility. Um, he's going to maintain his conditioning and he's going to going to work, um, but um, we we got to give it a few days and feel what this is about and um, I think the team needs a little space he needs a little space um, I think um, Draymond will um, will do what he feels is right what we feel is right and um, then move forward the hard part with this again is it's not a sprained ankle this is not four to six weeks and I'll give you an update next week that's not what this is this is um, much bigger than that and much more difficult to assess and and to to, to take care of and uh, 
So we have to give him the, the space and the time and the support he needs. I'm confident. I'm confident that he can um, come out um, on a on a better side. Um, I know him. Um, you know, he's an incredible human being. He's a very complex human being. Um, you know, in a lot of ways, he's um, you know he's he's incredibly loyal and passionate and competitive. Um, and sometimes that same thing hurts him. And um, so, you know, can he? find that space um, to be on the floor and compete um, and bring it like he does every night and not cross that line. And um, that's that's what he has to do, and, and I believe in him. I think he's going to be able to do it, but I'm not sitting here saying, you know, ah, a couple of weeks he'll be – that's not how this works. Um, so he's got a lot of work ahead. Yeah, it's a good good stretch for us coming up. A lot of home games. Um, we've gotten off to obviously a slow start, um, kind of giving away three or four games at the end. Um, and um, you know, you f you flip that and you win those games. It's an entirely different um, outlook. But of course, we didn't win those games. So this is the outlook we have right now, and we're in a tough conference, and I think in eleventh place, and got a big climb ahead of us. So we need to. Um, we need to, to turn things around here in the next few weeks. Yeah, Jeremiah, what do you make of uh, the guys behind him? I think they've done that for a couple of weeks. Young, Jabari, Jabari. We have a lot of depth. I think that's one of the strengths of this team. Um, very deep roster. Um, the bench has been, you know, along with Steph, obviously, the, the bench has been, you know, the strong suit of this team this year. So um, I'm, I'm very confident that um, we can play well. Um, with uh, the guys who will now be getting more playing time. Is there a plan to at least keep him in shape as much as possible while he's away for Draymond? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's 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 something that he wants to do, and that's something that our you know our training staff with, will help him with. Um, we talk every single day, you know, um, that's what the, the season is about. That's what, um, uh, being a team is about. It's, um, collaborating and, um, sharing thoughts, sharing ideas, um, trying to keep everybody confident and moving forward and motivated. And, you know, Steph is, um, as good of a leader as I've ever been around. I mean, the guy is an amazing human being and what he's done the past decade, um, in leading this team through all of the ups and the downs and uh, the turmoil, um, for anybody to question Steph Curry's leadership, um, it's it's actually um, it's kind of sickening to me, you know. And I saw some of that yesterday. It was disgusting. I'm talking about one of the finest human beings that I have ever been around, and uh, but that's the climate that we live in. And and these guys, um, it's part of. Part of all of this is just um, the climate we live in, and, and the, the arrows that are, you know, slung at these guys, and the, um, the judgment, the criticism. Um, that's fine, um, but it's part of it, and it's not easy. We're all human beings, and um, so that's that's a big part of the job these days as a professional athlete. You have to deal with with everything, and you have to accept it. Um, but there are times when you kind of have to say. Really? Like that's the angle you're going to take? You're going to question Steph Curry's leadership? Like really? We're going to do that? Think about that. Think about that. Okay, so that's all I got.